Hey guys, thank you so much for joining us today online. Don't go anywhere because Kids Men is coming up right now. you guys are joining us this morning at Northeast Kids Online, and I'm so glad that I'm here in the garage uh, where we are having the world's biggest block party. This month has been so much fun talking about friendship. I really think our friendship has grown, actually. Don't forget, friendship is using your words and actions to show others you care. And, you know, I was thinking about that. I wanted to invite my very good friend to come and play a game this morning. Mr. Ryan, can you come on up here on the stage? Hi, Miss Sam. Hey. Hi guys. Yeah, so I have this cool game that we're gonna do today. It's called Over the Line. It may stress our friendship a little bit, but I guess that's here what we're here to learn. So we gotta set up the, the room here for the game. So join me in a little snap in three, two, one. Oh, there wow. we go. Excellent. So we got it all set up. This is gonna be my side of the room. Okay. That's gonna be your side of the room. Got it. All right, the game is called Over the Line. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have a whole bunch of ping pong balls in here, and we're gonna have some paddles. And the objective of the game is to knock the ping pong balls to your side of the room. Get them out of your side of the room. To your, so I'm trying to get them over to you. You knock them over here, and I knock them over there. Okay. And at the end of 30 seconds, Whoever has the most ping pong balls on their side loses. You gotta have the fewest on your side. Get them out. Okay. All right, now, don't go over the line. Okay, I promise. All right. Yes. Now, we just need some equipment. Let's do the magic thing again. Okay, that? that was really cool. Okay, all right, in three, two, one. Oh, oh. there okay. we go. All right, I think we got what we need. We're about to play over the line and see how our friendship handles it. All right, here we go. We get the balls, we got the paddles. Mm -hmm. This one will be for you. Thank you. All right. All right, we let's got do it. it. All right. Yep. Okay, we got the room ready to go. Here it is. Now, I gotta get my uh, challenge shirt on, so I got this going here. Now you have no chance of winning. <laughs> okay. And now, are you ready to start um, this? Yes, I'm excited. All right, over the line. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Balls all counted up. Yes. I've got 26. And you've got 53. 53 is more than 26. Therefore, I win the game of over the line. But I gotta say, during the game, I may have gone over the line a few times. Yes. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I, that definitely tested our friendship there. It definitely did. I was did. trying to hit him over and you were going over the line. I may have even blocked you. <laughs> I'm sorry about that too. I don't know how many times I can ask for forgiveness before you start to say no, but can you forgive me? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, great. I went over the line, I got forgiven, and that's great. So that's what we got, that's what we're gonna learn about our friendship. Friendship is all about absolutely. Excellent. So, so now, what is it time for? It's time for worship. Do you think uh, we can do our magic thing again and just make the worship appear? That would be awesome. That would Let's be cool. try it. Okay. I gotta, I gotta do the snap. All right, three, two, one. I lay my life down at your feet. You're the only one I need. I turn to you.
friends. Whew, this is heavy. Any ideas what might be inside here? Ooh, those do sound good. I don't have any drinks or popsicles in here. I brought my cooler because our Bible story has to do with a picnic. Sort of. I've got some props in here so I can tell you all about it. Before we get started though, I've got a question for you. Has anyone ever hurt your feelings? Yeah, I think we've all felt that way before. Sometimes even friends hurt each other's feelings. We don't always speak kindly to the people we see all the time, do we? It hurts when you don't get picked to be on the team. It hurts when someone gets angry and calls you a mean name. We all feel hurt sometimes, but God has given us something that can heal the hurt. That's what we'll look at today in the friendship between Jesus and Peter. Here's what you need to know about Peter. Peter was the kind of guy who tended to say things without always stopping to think first. He was a brave follower of Jesus, but sometimes Peter made mistakes too. The night before Jesus was put on trial and killed, Peter promised he would follow Jesus anywhere. Peter said that he would give up his life for Jesus. But that same night, Jesus was arrested. Peter was so scared that he told three different people he didn't even know Jesus. Peter denied knowing Jesus three times before the morning came and the rooster crowed. My guess is the rooster might have looked a little something like hey, for, hey, hey from Moana. The crazy part is that Jesus had said this would happen. 
Peter had said he would never deny knowing Jesus, but in the end, that's exactly what he did. Peter must have felt terrible, especially when Jesus died. He had let his friend down in a big way. But then, Jesus returned to life and he appeared to his friends. Of course, Peter was absolutely overjoyed that his friend was alive. But still, he must have wondered if Jesus was mad at him. He probably wondered if they were still friends. He probably wondered if Jesus could still love him. Not long after Jesus came back to life, Peter and some friends went out fishing on the Sea of Galilee. My guess they went, is that they went fishing with a net similar to this, but probably quite a bit bigger. They didn't catch any fish all night long. In the morning, they saw a man standing on the shore. The man was Jesus, but they didn't realize it was him at first. John 21 verses 5 through 6 say, He called out to them, Friends, don't you have any fish? No, they answered. He said, Throw your net on the right side of the boat. There you'll find some fish. When they did, they could not pull the net into the boat. There were too many fish in it. Did you catch that? When Peter and his friends did what Jesus told them to, their net was filled with so many fish they couldn't even pull it into the boat. One of the other men, John, realized that the man on the shore was Jesus. Peter was so excited that he put his coat on and jumped into the water. The other disciples followed the boat, dragging the net full of fish. When they landed on the shore, they discovered that Jesus had started a fire and cooked a fish and some bread for them. Jesus told them to bring some of the fish they had caught. Jesus invited his friends to eat breakfast with him. After they had finished eating, Jesus took some time to speak to Peter. Peter was probably really nervous. After all, he had said he didn't know Jesus three times. Was Jesus mad at him? Did Jesus still love him? Here's how their conversation went. By the way, Peter was also known as Simon. John 21 verses 15 through 17 said, Jesus asked Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these others do? Yes, Lord, he answered, you know that I love you. Jesus said, feed my lambs. Again, Jesus asked Simon, asked Simon, son of John, do you love me? He answered, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said, take care of my sheep. Jesus spoke to him a third time. He asked Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter felt bad because Jesus had asked him the third time, do you love me? He answered, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. Jesus said, feed my sheep. You might be asking yourself, wait a minute, why is Jesus talking about sheep? Well, when Jesus said, take care of my sheep, he was talking about people like you and me. He wanted people, Peter to take care of the people who were following him, just like a shepherd takes care of sheep. Jesus told Peter three times to feed his sheep, to take care of his people. Jesus said that things would be difficult for Peter, but Jesus told him, follow me. Peter had been worried if Jesus was upset with him, but Jesus forgave Peter completely. He wanted Peter to know that he trusted him with the big job of caring for his followers. He wanted P Peter to help spread the word of God to others. Soon, other people would learn all about Jesus, and Peter would get to share the amazing news about everything Jesus had done for him. When Jesus forgave Peter, he let Peter know that they would always be friends. Peter didn't have to feel badly about what he had done anymore. In fact, he wanted Peter to be a leader of the early church. When we see what Jesus did for Peter, we can understand something important about friendship. Remember our bottom line? Friends forgive one another. All of us have been hurt before. If we're honest, all of us have probably hurt someone else's feelings too. That can happen in any friendship. But when it does, it doesn't mean it has to come between us. We can choose to forgive and let it go. Our friendships are way more important than what we've done wrong. Let's pray and ask God to help us to forgive. Dear Lord, thank you so much for the awesome story of your friendship, of the friendship between Jesus and Peter. Lord God, I pray you would help us to forgive others the same way that Jesus forgave Peter. Lord God, help us um, to not allow uh, the things that have happened to come between the friendships that you've placed in our lives. 
Lord, help us to love others the way you love us and the way you've called us to love. Thank you for allowing us to come to church. Thank you for allowing us to learn more about you. Um, and thank you for sending your son. We love you. Amen. Alrighty, guys, let's head back over to Miss Natalie. Wow, this story just proves that Jesus was a fantastic friend. He didn't make Peter feel bad about what he had done. Instead, he, Jesus told Peter that he loved him and that he had big plans for him in the future. Jesus showed us something important that we need to learn to be good friends to each other. He showed us how to forgive. Remember, friends forgive one another. Jesus is definitely the expert on forgiveness. When he died on the cross, he paid the price for our sins, the things that we've done wrong. Because he did that for us, we can for sure forgive others. The truth is we're gonna have lots of opportunity to forgive our friends and our friends will have lots of opportunities to forgive us too. Any good friendship needs forgiveness. Now don't forget, we are meeting in person. So check your emails every week for the registration because space is limited. We hope to see you guys here on campus next week. If not, we'll definitely see you online. Bye.